Hi, today I want to talk about my biggest pet peeve with criticisms of the ketogenic diet. And that is that you can't eat very many vegetables on the ketogenic diet, or you have to limit the amount of vegetables you eat. Or I could never do a diet where I'm not allowed to eat unlimited vegetables. Okay, well, pretty much any calorie restricted diet is going to technically limit your amount of vegetables. Like you can't eat a whole truckload of any kind of vegetable. But on the ketogenic diet, to stay in ketosis, you can have like three heads of lettuce a day. I'm sorry, I don't eat three heads of lettuce a day. You can have like probably five pounds of spinach a day. This is just something, this is like a complete myth. The problem, and this is where you see people coming up with it, is the use as, as an excuse. So people will eat keto junk food, which is fine, and there is a place for it. But if you're just living on like keto brownies and keto chocolate bars and all of this stuff that has like these weird sugar substitutes in it that are mostly low carb, but they're not completely no carb, then you're going to use up all of your carb counts, which for most people is 20 to 30 a day. If you use all of those up on junk food and then you have to say, no, sorry, I can't have that salad with my dinner. That's not a vegetable problem. That's a you filled up on junk food problem. So this is my pet peeve and this is, I get a lot of backlash because I've been on keto for like Febu since February. So it's been, I don't know, six months or something now. And if you don't want to do the ketogenic diet, that's totally fine with me. If it's something you don't agree with, it's if it's not something you want to try, that's fine. But don't use vegetables as an excuse. Oh, I like vegetables too much. I could never do the ketogenic diet. We eat so many more vegetables when I'm on keto, like even because I cook the same meals for my kids as I eat myself. Um, and if you click down below, you'll see my meal plans of family friendly keto meals to keep you from having to cook more um, two meals, like one for your kids and one for yourself. But we eat like pounds of broccoli, like on my grocery list, I buy like five pounds of green leafy vegetables every few days. This is something like I have a big salad almost every day. In the winter, I have more soups just because I like warmer foods in the winter than a big green salad. And so I'll have a soup, but I'm making it with just pounds and pounds of vegetables. And my kids eat it because it tastes so good. They're growing. I am thriving. But this is not, uh, I in no way limit my vegetable intake on the ketogenic diet. And the only reason people are having to limit their vegetable intake on the ketogenic diet is because they're filling up on keto junk foods and they used up all their carb counts on that. So if you have a healthy whole foods balanced ketogenic diet, it's very, very unlikely that you are going to bump yourself out of ketosis. In fact, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone bumping themselves out of ketosis on spinach or lettuce or broccoli. Um, it's, it's the keto junk foods that are going to bump you out. So that was all. I just had to kind of Mm, address that little issue today and again like I said it's fine if you don't want to do keto it doesn't bother me if you want to do keto I'm super passionate about it just because it makes me so happy and it helps me and my family so much we eat so well when I'm on keto um, that you can click down below for my keto family class and I'd love to help you get started or stay on it if that's something you want to do but if you don't want to do it that's okay but don't blame the vegetables I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day